And we're live. Welcome to the 34th Sprint Review of the Common Stack. Uh, we are, of course, coming to you hot and fresh with all the good action, and there's no shortage of action. Uh, this has been a busy sprint as usual, so let's just dive into it. First off, let's go into the budgets. Even though we're midweek, actually, uh, it, we the last review was right at the end of February, so I hadn't done the, uh, the budgets yet. So for the community budget, we have $84,000, about $85,000 in our coffers on March 1st. Uh, hopefully we have Gitcoin grants around uh, 13 going right now. So hopefully that'll bump up. Also our salary uh, requirements for supporting the community that is the, uh, helped launch the TEC is drastically decreasing as they pass proposals. So uh, our runway actually hopefully will be longer than, no than November this year uh, once we start getting the new calculations of what our actual budget is. Uh, but most of our money is in the give liquidity mining. Uh, and from the airdrop that Giveth gave us. And that's what will probably carry us through. And we're also asking for more funding uh, from Giveth here pretty soon. So that'll be cool. Uh, the association has definitely run out of money. Uh, we're finally out of debt. Thank you to the new, the new uh, members of the Trusted Seed that have uh, got us out of the debt that we were in before. Uh, but the association still is a long ways away from having enough money to do really anything at this point. So uh, definitely, if you feel like joining the Trusted Seed now, now's a good time. We could use the help. Uh, the other things that happened during this uh, sprint is I went to Mexico City and I gave a great talk about uh, collaborative economics and how the, the way that you start a DAO uh, can change the, how decentralized it is on the cultural and social levels. And so I kind of went through the collaborative economics uh, uh, motivation uh, that and, and why we do collaborative economics with the common stack. And the other thing that's worth mentioning this sprint is there's a lot of action in our first partner commons, the TEC. Uh, the TEC is really starting to come into its own, uh, putting their money where their mouth is, according to Michael Zarkum, to donate 25K to uh, Num NumPy and NumFocus. So this is uh, an association that uh, focuses on providing open source libraries that uh, Python libraries that token engineering the token engineering community really relies on. So a straight up donation to them, which is super cool. And also uh, we have the TE Consilience Library. This is uh, an Omega initiative. They did a bunch of surveys and they found out, hey, people, you know, the TE community is very focused in the computer science realm. But it, 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 there's a lot of other economic and, and uh, legals and, and other uh, disciplines that really have influence over token engineering. So uh, they're going to put together a library if this proposal passes, which both of them should pass probably today, I think. Uh, also, there's some other cool votes up there. There's translations from, from uh, the comms team. And there's also retroactive funding for the TEC Spotlight video, as well as Twitter planning. So lots of good stuff. And so many things have passed. Uh, Gravity passed uh, recently. There's been a lot of action. Conviction voting is really working as intended. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, and with that, I think I'll pass it to Tam. Cool. Great. Thanks, Griff. Um, so yeah, last Friday we ended Sprint 34, and um, as soon as we get off this call, we'll be planning Sprint 35. As usual, we do a Sprint retrospective, and I am just going to share that now. Um, and we take an hour, uh, two hours, to think about uh, what went well, um, what we really did well this these last two weeks, that's our Sprint Cadence. Um, the things that we want, we did well individually as a person or um, in the, the work streams that we're working on. We also started, we also always look at uh, things we can do better. So things that might not have gone so well. And lastly, of course, actions to improve. Uh, we didn't have a few people uh, from our team there. Uh, on Friday, Griff, Maria, Tiago were all not able to join us, but we found something that Maria could do anyway. We, we decided that the action we would bring into the sprint was Maria can relaunch the trusted seed sinks. So um, yeah, we'll be talking about that in our sprint planning. And while Maria wasn't able to join us for the retrospective, she was on her way to E3O. 
And while we were on this call, something very cool happened. And that is that she found a trusted, she found somebody with a common stack shirt walking by and I screen captured it. You can barely see him, but that is Nick. So special praise to Nick for wearing your common stack swag at E3O and special praise to Maria for going and grabbing him and bringing him onto the call with us. Wear your trusted seed swag, you might get on a call with us too. <laughs> you may get pulled in to a call with us too. Uh, so Usama and I have been working uh, slowly. We're making progress on a sprint board overhaul. We've been, you know, brooming out the cobwebs from the this uh, GitHub repository, and we've been making a lot of progress. Um, hopefully, by the next sprint, we will have. Um, uh, done a full grooming of all of the product backlog uh, and um, created different labels to reflect the organization as we're sort of structured today and the different work streams. And we have planning for the rest of the year underway and I hope by our next review call we'll also be able to, to share a lot of those plans with everyone as well. Uh, from the TEC, um, I have some news too. Of course, as Griff just mentioned, uh, conviction voting is working just as it's designed. You know, there's uh, proposals don't pass until conviction really grows for it. So I think it's been surprising for a lot of us how slow some proposals are taking, but uh, it's actually by design for it to work that way. Um, as so many or a few of the working groups have their funding now, uh, the Transparency and Communitas working groups have already paid their contributors for February. The stewards working group is about to. Uh, they have the funding, it just needs to actually do the distribution. And then um, Gravity and some of comms should be paying their contributors directly uh, for, the March, um, for the, the March work that's been done. Um, and then I just, I guess I also want to share that there was a really interesting call uh, that Zeptimus led in the Stewards Council last week. Uh, and it was to um, have a frank conversation about the different um, possibilities for the, uh, for the laser tag funds. So laser tag is about 118 TEC tokens that the token engineering commons um, put aside for, for different uses, special partnerships, liquidity. And so the conversation has started about how we start those allocations. And lastly, this is Shira. She's my new family member. So say hi to Shira. <laughs> okay, she likes to be in my lap. It's not the most easy to work, but uh, I do try to comply. And with that, I'll pass to Livia. Uh, thank you. Hi, Shia. Nice to meet you. So, let me share my screen quick. I bring great news from the reward system world. We had our first praise client last week. It was a success. Um, there was 10 quantifiers assigned and all of them finished all of their quantification. And it was a very quick process. It was like 45 minutes uh, more or less to finish uh, quantifying around 200, 250 uh, praise entries. And that usually took us way longer before, like three hours, four hours. So it's really an improvement that we're having with the quantification process. And it's looking really slick. There are some things to improve still, but uh, we're really on a great direction. And props to Christopher and Nabs who worked on uh, this dashboard and on so many people, Mitch, that helped bring so many quantifiers together and organized uh, this first quantification period. And um, yeah, just a lot of people in the reward system that are collaborating with this effort. And today we have another praise session starting. So we are late on praise for around for about seven months. That, that's the time it took us to uh, put the system together. And now, because it's easier to quantify praise, we're quantifying a month every week. So in about seven weeks, we'll be up to date with all the praise. So if you were praised in the last seven months, uh, hold strong there that you will receive your rewards very soon. And also on this topic, um, we finished the governance reward system last week or two weeks ago. 
and you can watch the final presentations. It's very interesting. And all of the TEC teams, the teams that were working on TEC will come on the 17th, so this Thursday, to present some of the ideas, some of the improvements that are possible based on the research that happened in the last uh, three to four months. So come join us for this call, it will be very interesting and we'll see how we can integrate um, this and the new reward systems that we're, we're working on. And then on gravity, there's a lot of cool activity happening. There's a new book club led by Lean. Uh, she's looking into uh, Who Do We Choose to Be by Margaret Wet Wetley. And uh, it's a very powerful book just by the overview I had and uh, all of the chapters were took already. So um, every session has already someone to lead the reading of it. So it's really amazing, come along. Even if you don't have the availability to read the book, it's interesting to be a part of the conversation. And also in Gravity, there is, um, there is uh, Liberating Structures and Deep Democracy. Jeremy is facilitating the sessions to talk about how we can implement practices that uh, help us work together in non-hierarchical settings and how to be more proactive and how to have a space that is open for everyone to be active. And this goes along with some work that we're doing in SoftGov to understand how to bring more uh, agency to everyone in the TC. And finally, uh, I was invited by Chris J that used to be in our team. Uh, we miss you, Chris, to be in the Tally Twitter space with Loie and Mark. We had very interesting conversations about um, how to DAO, what are some challenges, what are some things that we see that are working, what are some practices we have. And I, I talked a little bit about Common Stack and TEC. And with that, I will pass to um, Ivy. Thanks, Nivia. Um, let me share my screen. All right. Um, okay. So, uh, sprint, uh, sprint 34 is, um, uh, is all about off to a flying start. So in sports, it is a racing start in which the, um, contestants are already in full motion when they cross the starting line and, uh, the participants are very enthusiastic. So in the past two weeks, uh, we witnessed, we witnessed, um, several projects and, uh, programs in our community that got off to a flying start. So, um, get thing grants round 13 kicked off. And uh, our inclusion month was launched. Um, there's a new book published that tells the story of the DAO hack. And uh, we also started structure structuring the um, Common Stack Roadmap. So just to name a few that um, went really well this um, uh, sprint. And then, um, so I have some updates on my, uh, and so, yeah. So um, this sprint, um, our February newsletter also went out. So check out your, um, emails so you can see uh yeah we wrap up the uh we uh in the newsletter we give updates on the um e Denver and a lot of updates that uh happened the uh in the month of february and then um on twitter um there are two uh important things that, uh, more important announcements that we are um, sharing um of course we started the uh, inclusion month campaign so we, we started sharing uh uh or promoting uh, different organizations that are uh, advocating for or um uh, showing the uh, importance of inclusion culture in the uh, in this space, and uh, we also started uh, promoting uh, our own grant and different grants in our community on uh, that participate in the Gitcoin grant um, round thirteen. So go over uh, to our um, Twitter page and uh, you can check uh, our uh, fresh content that we publish uh, every day. And then another thing. Uh, so um, yeah, so I I have um some um some sad news uh this sprint. So um, uh, Ikeni is uh this his last week in uh 
Kamasak as a contributor. So um, we organized a little uh, send off um, last week for him to show our gratitude for all of his contributions in comms and on Twitter. So uh, thank you, Ikene, and uh, I hope you uh, stay around in, uh, in the community. And then the uh, uh, the other thing, I also have um, updates on the uh, on uh, the association. So uh, last week we had another uh, board meeting, so we can discuss the um, membership renewal and uh, some uh, legal uh, uh, and our uh, address. And then the other thing that I have uh, news, uh, yeah, I have news about the TEC. So on transparency. Uh, we started uh, gathering data for the uh, transparency audit. So we hope that this, um, this audit can be adapted in the future commons uh, as, a, as a transparency practice. And then, um, uh, what else? And then on legal side, uh, we finished, um, we finally finished the terms and conditions for uh, submitting and challenging your proposal in the, uh, in the garden. So uh, these terms and conditions will be available soon in the TEC GitHub. So uh, that's it for me, and I pass it to uh, Maria. Thank you, Ivy. So the team, or part of the team, using F Rio. You can see a bunch of people at the Museo of, of Amanya. Uh, yeah, my my Portuguese is not the best, uh, which is weird because I'm I speak Spanish, uh, and I'm with Tiago here. And Heather is somewhere uh, taking coffee. <laughs> she needs coffee, a lot of coffee. But yeah, I have some announcements. Uh, we have confirmed that uh, the next Trusted Seed Project Showcase speaker for the Intuition Month, we have Mercedes Rodriguez from East Caracas. She will be uh, talking about uh, how they are trying to integrate uh, crypto and blockchain, but tools from blockchain to the Venezuelan uh, people and economy, which has a hard time, but this is this is a very better alternative for a, a lot of levels. So she will be uh, sharing with our community the all the projects they are we, they have been working on. She also worked with uh, Daniel Novelsurf, so that's great. Hopefully we will see him there <laughs> coming back to the common stack. Um, I also had a, a great idea. I think it is a great idea, but I want to uh, make an a open call for uh, articles in other languages from our community. Uh, because it's, in, it's inclusion month uh, at the common stack. We want to feature you, your work in blogs about Web3, public goods, uh, blockchain for good. Uh, so if you have an article in your uh, native language, German, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, DM me so we can feature you either in our social media or our newsletter by the end of the month. It would be great to, to have our community uh, showing up the, their, to, to their audiences around the world. So that's it for me from Rio de Janeiro. I'm so happy to be here and for the opportunity to meet a lot of the people in the ecosystem. So I'll pass it to Gina. Hi, thank you, Maria. Well, during this sprint, I have been working, crafting, and publishing uh, content for our Inclusion Month campaign on our Twitter. Uh, we have prepared tons of good content pieces, as Ivy and Maria mentioned, uh, around inclusion uh, culture in the public goods space, just for you, of course. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss out on details, Follow us on Twitter and follow our hashtag Inclusion Month. And speaking about things you cannot miss, <laughs> our next MAN is just around the corner. It is going to be this Friday, uh, 8th, 18th at 9 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. <laughs> sorry, EST and 2 p.m. CET. And the theme is, of course, inclusion culture in public goods. It is going to be a real a really good panel or Ray on Grace Green is going to be our moderator. <laughs> yeah. And we will have uh, uh, great panelists. We will we're going to have uh, on, on, on a lead. 
as a, uh, the founder of HerDAO, Garrett Ackerman, founder of CryptoHerd, and Juan Carlos Bell from Gravity DAO. And we will, we will discuss, of course, around the topic uh, that is the main one, uh, what's the meaning of uh, the culture uh, inclusion in public goods, and what is needed to actually uh, foster a wide adoption. And in our um, ideas, I will share my screen now. Uh, <laughs> the, build, uh, the building of the Trusted Seal dashboard has begun. <laughs> and we have here a great view of how it is looking right now. So we can already see how it is taking shape in terms of design, color, and we are working on the content and the content that you will see in it. And we're simply hoping that it is ready um, for you to enjoy the fullest. So yeah, <laughs> we stop it now. And finally, <laughs> and since the last sprint, we had eight applications, two new activations, and we are now 343 trusted seed members. So the usual limitation for you is to apply, to join, to activate, to be part of this amazing community. And um, yeah, check your mailboxes if you haven't done it and activate, please. This is your opportunity. <laughs> and I, with this, I pass it to you, Osama. Thanks, Jeannie. Uh, hi, all. Hope all of you are doing awesome today. Uh, we've been working on uh, different things, mostly for Twitter content. Uh, we have an inclusion month for you, as Jeannie said. Uh, we will post content on different aspects of inclusion, and we have done research about different DAOs and their mission to achieve the goal of inclusion. So we have research on multiple DAOs, and we will post posting the content on Twitter. Uh, secondly, we have been working on the clips uh, from different talks. So first of uh, first of all, uh, the Griff talk on the collaborative economics. Uh, we have already posted the first one. Uh, make sure you guys check out the content we will be posting on the Twitter as well as on YouTube. Uh, so it's super helpful. And uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys check out the content and give us your feedback as it's really important. And in addition, I was um, I was having a sprint overhaul with them where we cleaned the board and it's still in the process. But yeah, it will bring the clarity to the tasks. Uh, with that, I will pass it to Griff. Thank you. Just making sure, does Tiago want to give an update on the region partnership, Maria? Oh, I don't know if Maria is listening, um, but we will, uh, I guess we'll just move move on because I know, I know Tiago's sitting right there. He just doesn't have a window, but that's okay. Uh, maybe if he wants to jump in. Oh yeah, Maria. Uh, Tiago? Yeah. If you want to jump. Oh, okay. Um, so we had the, that contract with Region um, that's that was signed. So we're hoping to get the enhanced dirt in, with land-based communities uh, from now on and start building trust and governance with these communities. Uh, and yeah. I'm so excited to be here, to meet Maria, to meet Heather. They are so awesome. Uh, and we were talking how much we love to work with you guys, with all the Comstack team and all the, the community. You are so great. So thank you. I have to pass to you. No, I'll take it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Please take it. <laughs> thanks, Tiago. Uh, thanks so much, man. And yeah, well, so then, you know, we always get all the cred. You can see the videos on the faces on the screen, but this is a huge community effort. Uh, so I'm just going to read off, rattle off the praise and there's no, it's a, the praise wrap at the end of this call as always. 
<laughs> a tongue twister, so I'll give it a shot. Okay, so praise for Shell for helping to put together all the budgets that you see here. I, you know, I barely do anything other than just help for Shell um, make it happen. Also praise Chewy, Inga, Felipe, and all the other organizers at the Dallas, New Mexico City for giving us a platform to give that talk. Uh, praise Shebnem and Zargum for bringing out some great TEC initiatives that are really token engineering focused. Uh, praise Nico for wearing the Common Stack t-shirt at the Theorem Rio and, uh, and passing passing by uh, praise and being cool about jumping into the call. Praise Deptimus, Mitch, and Nate for leading the laser tag working group discussion in the TEC Stewards Council. And praise Deptimus and Eduardo for distributing the TEC contributor compensations in February. Uh, great work. It's so cool to see the TEC start paying people. Uh, praise Christopher for all the coordination around the reward system process. And we find a huge milestone there. So, so much praise goes to Christopher for making that happen. Praise Mitch for recruiting and onboarding so many people who signed up for the trial quant. Uh, praise Deptimus for capturing uh, feedback from the community after the praise trials and helped us improve and uh, the, the reward system. Uh, praise Bye Bye V for the Rockstar Praise Bot work. Praise Nebs and Grail for all the back end work to make what you saw in the praise font possible. Praise MS and Nuggin for digging in and doing revisions of thousands of old praise. Uh, praise YGG, Angela, Patty, Peter, Octopus, and Mike for all the great governance and reward system work. Uh, praise Lean for leading a really cool book, book club. Praise Margaret Wheat Wheatley for writing a, a cool book that we could do a book club about. Praise Jeremy and Lean hosting, for hosting a session on bridging liberating structures to Web3. And praise Chris Jones for inviting us to talk about how to DAO uh, on the Twitter space. Praise Laura Shin for featuring me in her book on the DAO hack so we have some more content for Twitter. Praise Akene for all the contributions and help in the comms and social media. Akene, we're going to miss you. Thank you so much. So much praise goes to Kenny for all the work building the LinkedIn and all the other cool things that would never have happened without Kenny. Praise Zargum, Chris Jones, and Jeff Emmett for coming to the association board meeting and having really good conversations. Uh, praise Coach B and Raphael for always being available to answer our legal questions around, around the different documents we have to do for the trusted seed. Praise Defty, Anti, and Ratio for pushing the transparency audit forward. Praise Sean and Pablo for helping out with the terms and conditions for conviction voting, which will be used for all, the, all of our conviction voting commons uh, in the future. Praise Heather and Nico and all the other Trusted Seed members who are going to Rio and representing the Trusted Seed. Praise Dan for always promoting us around the world. Uh, even though he's got a new role with a new org, he's still jumping around uh, from a, a airplane to airplane to uh, and, and spreading the good word of the common stack and the Trusted Seed. Praise Anna Lee and Wonka and Garrett for agreeing to jump into the AMA this month, coming soon. Praise Christopher for managing the creation of the Trusted Seed dashboard. And praise Rodri for all the design work on the Trusted Seed dashboard. And praise the Raid Guild crew, Brandon One, Keating, and Dan 13 Ram for diving into the Trusted Seed implementation. So cool to bridge the communities. Uh, for, praise Frischel, Gustavo, and Anna Marie for participating in Inclusion Month. And uh, praise Kevin Awaki, Simona Pop, uh, and Simona Pop for organizing Shelling Point. Praise John Pollard and Danny Osario for organizing ETH Denver. And praise Chrissy and Jonathan for holding down the stage and the recordings. We're still living off of all that content from Denver. Couldn't have, been, couldn't have happened without that crew. And praise Jess and Austin and all the other Regen Foundation folks for drafting and completing the contract uh, that will definitely help fund the, trusted, the common stack for years to come. Uh, yes, and that's it. So thank you for hanging out and listening to Sprint Review 34, uh, and, and hopefully we'll see you at 35. Bye, everyone.